afternoon. I got nothing better to do. I can't go out today. So I thought I'd do, I haven't done a, one a, for a long, long time, a what's in my bag, like they always used to do. Well, where shall we start? I generally, whoop, if I got the big camera out, I use the three-legged thing, Winston, Mark II. And it's got the lovely sharp Healy spikes on the bottom. Like a bit of an offensive weapon then, really. You can, and you can unscrew one of the legs and have it as a walking pole, which is a great help. Save you carrying a walking stick when you're my age. And on the top of that, we've got the Benro beard head. Cracking bit of kit, kit, but kit, kit. I'm <laughs> cracking bit of kit, but it is heavy. I think it's heavy, but that might be just me. It, depending on the location situation, I'll you take this bad boy with me. It's the Canon, not Nikon. Got to be Canon. Canon EF1 to 400 image stabilizing all the rest of it bells and whistles terrific terrific lens love it but it's say but according to, depending on the situation it, it's a bit heavy um not really what i think anyway let's get back to the bag the bag and i always forget the name i know it's a low pro it, it's a 450 av Flip side track, that's it. <laughs> and the beauty of this bag, it opens on the back next to your back. So you've always got a nice clean area on your clothing. What's in here? Well, let's have a look. From a long time ago when I first started photography and I fancied I'd go at, at um, doing a vlog, we bought a little Zoom H1. Don't use it very often, hardly ever at all, but it does work, it works nice. The microphone I'm talking to you on at the moment is the Rode Wireless Go. Um, don't usually clip the microphone on my shirt. Where's it gone? Lost it already. <laughs> um, No, nothing in there, but I generally got a. My, I'm wondering where I put that one. Now. A microphone that I can tuck down inside my shirt. Right. Next to that compartment, DJI Mini 3 Pro. I've got three batteries in in the in the charging charging hub. Um, lovely bit of kit. Lovely bit of kit. Enjoys that. Next to that, it's only going to be a short video of this. When I get my hands in there, it's always too much anyway. I got ah, a little armour case, which waterproof, very hard wearing. And I keep one, two, three, four, five, six, there are six cards in that one. I don't know why I carry so many really. Next to that one. I do have the Mini the, the Mini 3 Pro and with the RC controller. Tuck that back in there right the way. It's just, it's not going to take very long at all to tell you about all this law, is that? One of my favourite things I always carry. I got one of these perfectly legal far but gel sprays. A criminal identifier. So if somebody tries to upset me, I'll spray them straight in the face. And then, I think I think they, I think they comes out blue. I'm not sure. Perfectly legal to carry though. Um, next to that, oh, I got a spare compartment there. Uh, I got a couple of filters. Now I do have leaf filters, and and it depends where I'm going and what I'm going to do. I like me leaf filters if I'm in woodland doing waterfalls and things. <clears throat> but as a general rule, seascapes. If I'm going to do a seascape and I need to stop down, I got a variable. Make sure I get the right one. Yep. I got a variable 
ND, up to ND1000 here. Um, can't remember if it's Nissy or what, this one. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Oh no, it's KNF Concept. Forgot I had that one. And um, that one's in there. And I've also got the KNF Concept. No, I haven't. <laughs> I got the Nissy. The Nissy CPO. <laughs> Cloth. And the big boy which weighs the most is my Canon 5D Mark IV with the um, 24 to 105 lens on it. Um, it's a bit lumpy and I've tried mirrorless and I didn't like it because of my illness I got bad hands. I can find and get all this. It's something I can work with because I, I, it's, it's, it's heavy and it's it's something I can grab all up not, and not drop. And the menu isn't too complicated. Underneath her, got a lovely little polish, little foam with a reflective covering on it, just for that extra little bit of packing, should I need to sit down as well. Basically, that's it in that part. As I say, I can't find my microphone. I got a lovely little microphone somewhere. Don't know if I'm lost. <clears throat> right, let's get in the top in the top now i'm filming this i'm filming this on the canon m50 with a standard 1855 lens on it it's light it's small and that is mounted at the moment on my little travel tripod can't think for the life which one it is but i'll show you in a minute in fact i'll show you now if i just uh carefully open this so I don't drop everything I'll put this down here for a second right let's have a look there ah there he is look he clips on me shirt and he's got a, a, a meter lead well less than a meter I would have thought but that one that gives really good audio with a wind muff on it and I love that bit of gear Dave Earth put me onto that many many moons ago Dave don't vlog anymore but he was quite good I liked old Dave he was all right now another microfiber cloth in there in the top compartment here I also carry a Victrox adapter to fit the Canon M50 and on there I can fit my EF lenses the big one the, the uh, <clears throat> 24 to 105 will also go on the little fit the little camera because that's a crop sensor and whereas you know the, the 5d is a full full frame now then i should be able to put this i can do this jiggery pokery bit again now when i got into pro on, on in the pro processing i got a little pocket um dji pocket and i'm just going to turn it on and record um bum, bum, bum. i'm in the i'm out on back patio because it's, it's nice weather all right then here we go look i can't even get the name of that tripod but that that's me that's me little set up there with the with the with that working that works that works a trait forget the ladders i don't take them anyway that's i'll, I'll turn this off for a second because i don't need it do i but that's my little gji pocket and something goes on there too. I just have to download that and see what's on there. Bum, 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 bum. It's lovely down here in Devon today. Sunshine in a tree. I thought it was going to rain earlier, but no, no, it was all right. I can now I can zip that bit up again now. That's it basically, you know. I don't hurry too much these days. As I say, I got my leaf filters um, upstairs, but it depends on the situation. What have I got in here? Me landing pad for me drone. Because the props don't like it in grass, do them? Uh, in me compartments I've got various little bits and bobs. Um, I've got batteries and things like that in there. Um, I do keep a... I got a little pouch here, which... A little newer pouch. 
where I keep me two extra 5D batteries and also one for the Canon 50. Um, as well as in, I do keep AA batteries and batteries for the mics and all, all damn sorts. Well, they're USB chargeable and I'm sort of, I'm telling, telling a lot, well, the mic, that's where the Zoom H1 is at. I think that'll do, won't it? It's only a very short vlog today. Just something to pass the time, really. But I can recommend this bag. I don't know if you can still get them. It's a cracking bag. It comes with its outer waterproof covering and everything. Right. While I got you all here, if Ginger Captures and Steve Stain don't mind, seeing as they're, all ba they're based up in the Midlands and Yorkshire, I thought, why don't we have a Southwest region meetup in November? Now I can recommend um, a cracking beach with lovely folds of rock, as rock pools, sand, um, near Woolacombe. Some, and from there you see, within a, that would be possibly an evening shoot. It depends, I haven't checked the tides yet. But um, weather permitting, sometime in November, means I don't have to drive all the way up the Midlands too. And we could, at that time of year, you can, you can pretty well park anywhere around on the seafront at Woolacombe, I believe. If you've got to pay, well, it's in that tin the earth, is it? A couple of pubs there um, in Woolacombe. From there, what you see, then you can go via Blackmore Gate where there's lovely big car parking and toilets if you didn't want it to sneaky overnight stay and to meet up at Valley of the Rocks on the Saturday morning and have a little mooch down to Lynmouth for a bit of lunch, fish and chips perhaps, or go in the pub. Um, and then if you can still walk in a straight line and you're not eating too much, then perhaps a walk, a nice casual walk up through the River Lynn as far as waters meet. Or a little bit beyond perhaps because there's some lovely cascades and waterfalls all up through there Sunday and that would take care of that day I'm sure and I'm sure you're going to make your own arrangements for the Saturday night Sunday see but we'll play it by ear and see how many turns up I don't think I should do all three I might do two but I ain't doing all three um, I will post something later on the Facebook page and see if, what Darren's got to say about it and, and Steve. But anyway, from me, Podgy Snapper, nothing else to say except I enjoy doing this. Sat in the back garden here and it saves me legs, doesn't it? So over and out for now. Take care. Bye.